a nice car. My boy Mike, good to see you. What would really turn me on is you wearing clown face. Before you ask, the fridge is broken. That's all right. I've had enough of your hospitality already. I have changed my ways, all right? Huh? Yeah, I'm done with that crazy shit, all right? I want to square things away with Merriweather, make sure the agency ain't coming back after us, and then do one last big score, and then you get to go back with your family. Me, I'm just going to live here. I'm going to run this, this good business showing people a good time. B bust Brad out of prison, and then, you know, happy. So how'd you come by this place anyway? I've had it for ages. So you must know Leon, the old manager. Leon? I didn't know. Yeah, whatever, man. So what's going on here? What's going on is the big one. A long, long time ago, in a faraway place, there were three guys. Michael, Trevor, and Lester. And Brad. Uh, yeah. Sure, Brad was there sometimes as well. I mean, there were other guys, though, too. So, uh, anyway, we, uh, robbed and lied and we hurt people. Pretty much lived a low-life kind of existence. But always dreaming of one thing and one thing only. The big one. The big one. The, the big, big one. one! What is the big one? <laughs> the Union Depository. Around 200 million in gold bricks, all taken from kindly Uncle Sam, who will spend the rest of our lives being hunted by government officials if we live through the attempt. But... But! It'll be my, uh, our masterpiece. So, gentlemen, let's do our civic duty and get out there and find some gainful employment. This way. Let's go. Big one. Strict schedule. There's a couple of armored cars on a dry run to the depository. Intel suggests they'll be going down Innocence Boulevard in East LS. At approximately 1530. And Trevor and I need to map their route for a possible hijack point. So 
We are going to his airfield in Blaine County and coming back in his chopper to intercept. Michael Franklin, all you gotta do is take the temperature at the bank, see if there's anything that stands out. You'll get 20% of 200 million. A maximum of 200 million if I can get the funds diverted and you pull it off. Still, come on, 20% of that's a lot. Not a coin for sitting on your fat ass. That doesn't look like much. Man, security looks okay. light. We send in a couple of sprung niggas, clap, clap. What are you talking about, Frank? Oh, I see it. Man, getting in the door is easy. It's a standard bank. It's getting underground as hard. Ain't that where the metal's kept? Right. Now we gotta stop outside the Arcadia Center down on Alta Street. We can get a view of the back from there. Respect? Just a little? Because I respect you, Trevor. Strangely, I do. I can see how you're useful. Terrifying, but useful. Oh. Well, I can think of a few uses for you, you chubby little ball of fun. I want your help. All 20% of 200 million of it. Actually, man, I've got another job I want your help with after this. Yeah, right. Whatever. No. Seriously, man. A big job. Payment up front. What is it? Yeah, I don't know why I didn't think of it before. I want to bring you in on the ground floor this time. That's not a joke about disabled access. I didn't know it was, but now I do. I ain't even talked to Mike about it yet, but he's gonna be on board. He's obligated. What is it? Ain't it obvious? Bustin' Brad out of the clink. Okay, I'm gonna stop you there, T. Some things are just better left alone. Brad's not a thing. He's part of the crew. Well, a crew's more than a sum of its parts, and he was a pretty shit part. He is a pretty shit part, and that's only because he's in jail. No, he was, is shit because he's lazy, forgetful, mean, and stupid with respect. We're down on Alta Street, coming up on the back of the bank. Look, dog, light again, man. Yeah, fucking eerie, ain't it? Man, you think they put more than one motherfucker on our national fucking reserves? Yeah, huh? Well, maybe we really are broke. Trevor, how are you doing? Clockwork, Mikey. Like clockwork. Mike's observations fit with your scheme. So far, yeah. The security's internal rather than external. It's quiet enough that any disturbance is going to get picked up immediately. Be careful not to get too close to the prison. We'll trip an alarm. Good point. Don't want him jumpy for the breakout. Ah, yeah. What those two don't know is there's a special team of cops on standby 24-7, waiting on a signal from the UD. Won't go out on any other call. And it's never been hit. Man, those guys must get bored. They may be cops, but they work for the government. There's nothing government workers love more than to accept tax dollars for doing nothing. Oh yeah, that and spying on innocent people. Hmm, getting paid to do nothing and spying on innocent people. Now, who does that remind me of? Anyway, it's 
We want to hit the vault in a way that people will notice. The key will be to divert the security team. Divert it? You said they hold out for calls from the UD, and that's it. They do, so we'd have to hit it twice, once to distract them, and once to get it done. You're gonna find someone willing to get caught hitting a super bank just as a distraction? I was thinking, Michael, it might appeal to his ego. Oh, what am I saying? We got the perfect guy for it. you 30 seconds ago. Tell that to the traffic. <laughs> All right. Onion 86 in the building. Now, if I remember from planning the jewel store job, they're excavating the new LS Metro Tunnel around here. They take us around the building and find the construction site. Roger that! Looking for a big asshole! Down there, but it ain't a 
tunnel excavation. We'll keep looking. That's the excavation. I need you to hold the chopper above it while I take a look. Hover above so I can shoot down into it. So how you feeling about me? Feeling pretty good. We got Lester planning. He'll get us options. There's you, a guy I know I can depend on. And then there's Trevor. Ah, yeah, Trevor will get it done. And will he? I hope so, man. I hope he holds it together. Hey, you ain't done too good of a job at that yourself, you feel me? Yeah, well, I ain't pissed off hillbillies. Bikers, a Mexican gang, some Chinese gangsters, and a private army, okay? So there's that. Yeah, but you just pissed off the FIB and the IAA and your family, man. You know what? I met Amanda, and I know who scares me the most. <laughs> Point taken. So you gonna tell me about this Brad dude and the deal with the FIB? What happened in North Yankton back in the day anyway? This ain't the time. Man, we about to go in together on the biggest job ever being pulled. There ain't ever gonna be a better time to fill me in on this shit. It's complicated, all right? Fuck it, I'm gonna ask Trevor. Don't. Ask Trevor. Shit, man, you sound shady, dawg. Real shady. We'll talk, all right? Just later. All right, holla at me. Hey, when he's got something, Lester will be in touch. <laughs> 